So in the last few minutes, Wolves have just confirmed the permanent signings of Benek Afobi and Willy Bolly. Uh, I think I'm delighted about both of them, to be honest. I think Benek Afobi, although not a top, top goal scorer, has come in and has got the best uh, goals per minute ratio in the club, a goal for every 120 minutes, which is not bad. And he's shown as well that he can adapt his style of play to fit the team that we've got at the moment. I think that when he first came in, he struggled a little bit to come in, play in the front three and things like that. But he's adapted really well. And I think with a pre-season behind him at Wolves, he should be ready to fire. I think he's got a little bit of a, an injury at the moment, uh, having been away playing with Congo. A little bit of an ankle injury he's put on his Instagram, but he said he should be fit by pre-season. So that'd be good. And Willy Bolly as well, there was some doubt, I think, as to whether he was staying uh, at the end of the season. I believe, I understand that he wanted to stay, but there was perhaps some things that needed ironing out. Whether or not Wolves have, had identified other centre-back targets and missed out on them, perhaps. Um, but I think Willy Bolly is regarded by other fans in the Championship as being the best Championship defender they've ever seen. I think he's been so reliable and so calm and composed in the Championship. It hasn't looked like he's been trying. And when he moves up now into the Premier League, you do have to feel like he'll be at home there and he'll be tested a little bit more. He'll have to concentrate a bit more and try a bit harder. But I think that he's shown that he's perfectly capable of playing at that level. With him being right-footed as well and having played at the left side of the back three all season, perhaps we might see him shuffle across and get a more natural left-sided centre-back to fill his role. Or I could see the back three pretty much staying the same for the start of next season. I think Ryan Bennett has got a decent chance of starting in that right-sided of the three. And Conor Cody, I think, will start in the middle. So if the rumours are true, the Benicophobia deal is around about 10 million and a similar sort of fee for Willy Bolly as well. So that takes the spending already on the 1st of June up to around about 20 million with Diogo Jota as well, yet to be confirmed, but that's only a matter of time, I think. There was an agreement in place in January and I think they're probably just ironing out kinks in contracts and stuff now. So that would take it up to 30 odd million before even we've brought any new players in. So it's a very, very exciting time for the Wolves. I predict that we're going to spend between 80 and 90 million this uh, summer. I think that it will be a massive gamble and a massive risk, but the, the calibre of players that we've been linked with are certainly ones that are not going to see us struggling down the bottom of the table. They're going to see us pushing, certainly for mid-table, if not the top six. Uh, as well, the Rui Patricio rumours have rumbled on this morning. There have been reports that he's trying to, or he has cancelled his contract with Sporting Lisbon, having been accosted by the chairman, I think. Um, so he was out of sport in Lisbon, which would mean that he would be available on a free transfer. So one of the best goalkeepers in the world linked with a free transfer. However, with him going on a free transfer, it then opens the doors to every club in the world and he would have his pick probably of where he wants to go. Unless there's some sort of link with Wolves which has led to him wanting to get, get out of his contract. So yeah, as predicted, June, the wheels have started turning now and things are starting to happen. I think Wolves will make another couple of signings over the next couple of weeks before the World Cup starts and then we'll see what happens over the World Cup. But if we can sign a player like Rui Patricio, that's the sort of Ruben Neves calibre of player that we bring into the club and showing the ambition. But let me know in the comment section down below what you make of today's deals. Definitely good deals signing Bolly and, and Benick. I do think that we need another striker alongside of Obi as well. Somebody perhaps a little bit more proven at Premier League level. There are rumours as well that Andre Silva might be going to Monaco rather than Wolves. I mean, why would you choose Monaco over Whitmarines? But again, that's not confirmed, so we'll wait and see what happens there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.